Aloha swimmers, it's time for swim school. My name is Miss Jenny and I am the co-founder of Goldfish Swim School. We are so excited to bring you goldfish at home. We know it might seem a little strange swimming without a pool, but that's okay. We're gonna take all of the fun that we have at Goldfish every day from swimming to celebrating and bring it to you wherever you are right now. And when it's time to really dive back in, we'd love to see you at one of our 90 degree pools. Make sure to check out goldfishswimschool.com to find your closest school. You can also check out our activities page for some more fantastic activities to help you make a splash at home. All right, let's get moving. Hi everyone, welcome to our Swim Force workout. Today, we are gonna focus on stretches, exercises, and a quick tune-up set that will help us become more flexible, stronger, and faster while swimming breaststroke. This video will help swimmers who already know how to do breaststroke. If you still need a little review, that's okay. You can check out our intermediate breaststroke video for a refresher on this stroke. So let's get ready to jump on in. In this lesson, you'll need a towel or a mat, just like this, a couch, a bed, a chair or a stool, something with no armrests, a small ball that you can put under your chin for a special drill we're going to do. And that's it, all right? So let's get ready to dive in. Okay, so let's start by stretching out our bodies. It's always really important to stretch and loosen up before you do a workout. Okay, so let's start with our perfect streamlines that we've been working so hard on. All right, so just like Charlie's doing, we're gonna squeeze those biceps to those ears, sandwich those hands, and we're gonna stretch out all these side muscles, our arms, just like that. Good job. Reach, we're gonna hold this for 10 seconds. All right, nice job. Okay, so now we're gonna sit down on the ground and work on our ankle rolls and loosen up those ankles because we're gonna use those a lot in breaststroke, okay? So since it's breaststroke lesson today, we need our ankles to be all loose to work on that kick. So let's do some rolls to the outside. We'll do 10, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good job. Okay, let's reverse it and go the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good job. So now we're just gonna reach and stretch our backs out in child's pose, okay? So Charlie's gonna go that way. I'm gonna go this way so you can see what it looks like. You might already know this one. We're gonna open up our knees just a little bit, put our heads down on the mat and reach out front just like this. Nice job. This helps stretch out your back muscles, all your arm muscles, and just get everything loose. All right, great. Okay, so let's stand up, or sit up, sorry, and we're gonna do some stretches of our hips, just like this. So we're gonna put one knee bent out front and just stretch that hip out, get ready for those breaststroke kicks. Good job, we'll hold for 10. All right, nice, let's switch legs. That feels so good to stretch out the hips. Get ready to swim. We'll hold for 10 again. All right, good job. Okay, so now let's just lastly reach our arms across the body. Let's start with our left arm. Get those arms ready to swim. Good job. All right, and switch. Nice work. All right, shake it out. Let's stand up and we're gonna get ready to warm up our bodies. All right, let's warm up using our circle swimming pattern, okay? So we're gonna do a couple of laps around our mat in the circle swimming pattern. Circle swimming is a great way to exercise and swim for fun when there's more than one person in your lane. So it helps you not run into people. If everybody follows the pattern, nobody will get hurt, okay? So this is what the pattern looks like. In case you don't know, we're gonna walk it out the first time and just shake everything out, okay? So let's walk down this side of our mat. We're gonna turn left. Good job, and then turn back towards the front, just like a car would drive on a road. All right, nice job. Okay, so let's do our breaststroke arms now, since that's what we're working on this week. So breaststroke arms while we're walking. Nice job. Good job, okay, so now we're gonna do some crunches. These are like ab crunches into our knees. So hands behind your head, and we're gonna cross over to the opposite knee like this. Okay, 
Kind of take some balance. Good job, this is gonna warm up our abs and our core. We use our core a lot in swimming, so we wanna make sure that it's all warmed up and ready to go for this workout. All right, great. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do is our waddles. So this is kind of like a frog situation here. We're gonna squat down like a frog, and we're gonna waddle like this and warm up our legs and our hamstrings and our glutes. We'll call this a frog waddle. <laughs> all right, whoo, that's kind of hard. Good job, guys. All right, I'm all warmed up, are you? Yeah. All right, high five. Okay, for this next skill, we're gonna do a quick tune-up on the head position for when we take a breath when we're swimming breaststroke. So you'll need to find that stool or bench, something to sit on where we can practice this. We'll meet you there. All right, did you find your spot? Great, okay, so Charlie and I are gonna sit on our chairs right here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on sticking a ball underneath your chin to not move our head too much when we swim breaststroke. So a lot of times, I'll show you guys, when you're swimming breaststroke, you like to lift your head and then dive back down, okay? And that takes up a lot of extra energy and it kind of throws off your body position and the timing of your stroke. So what we're gonna do to remember to keep our head and eyes kind of looking down when we come up for that breath, just like this, we're gonna stick a ball or a tennis ball, you can even use like an orange or a lemon, whatever you have at home, right underneath our chin and we're gonna squish it to our chest and we're gonna work on our breaststroke arms just like this and try not to let that ball fall. Okay, so Charlie's gonna do it. Good job, he's doing good. Are you guys doing it at home? Nice, it's kind of tricky. Okay, oh, we lost it, that happens, okay? So that means he was lifting his chin too much. So it's really important that we keep our eyes looking down when we're swimming breaststroke and try not to drop that ball. Good job, nice. Okay, so we don't wanna pick up our head that throws our body off and our timing off. So this is a great way to practice this at home. You can find any object you want to practice it and it's just gonna remind you the right body position, the right head position, all right? So you're all tuned up for breaststroke. All right guys, it's time for our main set. This set is going to focus on breaststroke. So we'll be doing some cardio, some strength moves, even some balance moves. So let's get started, all right? So we're gonna start off with some cardio and then in between each cardio, we'll be doing something different like a strength move or a balance move okay all right let's go we're gonna work on those sumo squats okay so we're gonna walk around the mat in our sumo squat position like this all right our frog waddles whatever you guys want to call them we're gonna warm up those legs good job Okay, great, so now keep that position and we're gonna do 10 squats of sumo squats, okay? Ready, flat feet, good job, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, good job, that's a good breaststroke position for your legs. Now we're gonna add a jump, okay? So 10 sumo squat jumps, ready, go. Good job, nice work. Okay, let's get back to the front and we're gonna do some high knees around the mat. Ready, go. All right, great, drop down for some push-ups. We're gonna work on those strength of those arms for our breaststroke pulls. I'm gonna put my knees down. Ready, go. We're gonna do 20 seconds. All right, good job. Back to the front of our mat. We're gonna do some fast feet around, all right? Two times fast feet. Good job. All right, nice. So now we're gonna work on some balance, okay? So we're gonna stand on our right leg and work on our breaststroke pulls, okay? So we're gonna go down, breathe. Woo. Try and balance on that leg, it's tricky. Let's do 10 pulls, this is number three. 
five, six, you're doing great, nine, 10. All right, good job, let's switch legs. Let's balance on our left leg now. Ready, go. One, two, three, All right, you're almost there. Eight, nine, 10. All right, nice job. Let's go back to the beginning. All right, we're gonna do toe reaches like this, but hop two times. All right, great. Okay, we're gonna get down on our bums and do some brush stroke kicking on our back, all right? So, hands under your bum like this. Lay down on your back. And we're gonna do 20 seconds of breaststroke kicks. Ready, go. Last set of cardio. All right, we are gonna do some fast feet the first round. Second round, we're gonna do lunges. Ready, go. All right, and then lunge with a hop. All right, nice work. Okay, one last thing. We're gonna do some bicycle kicks, work on our abs, all right? So 30 seconds of bicycles, ready, go. on all those great breaststroke skills. You can practice this at home. If you're really brave, you can even do it a second time. All right, high five. Good job, guys. Okay, it's time to cool our bodies down. It's always really important to cool down after you do a hard workout, give your body a breather, shake out those muscles. So we're gonna do that in our circle swimming pattern. All right, so let's shake out our arms and legs. We're gonna do one lap just like that. Good job. Shake them out. All right, nice work. Okay, let's stretch our arms across our body for this next lap. We can swap our arms every few seconds. Good job. Feels good to stretch after a workout. All right, let's do some toe touches. Okay, so let's reach down, touch one toe, stretch the back of those legs. All right, switch. Good job. Cross over to the other side. Nice. Stretch out those legs. All right, and lastly, we're gonna do some lunges and stretch out those hips again, okay? And we'll reach to the opposite side. So lunge and reach. Lunge and reach, good job. Walk back all the way to the front. All right, feels much better. We're all cooled down, all right? We have one more fun thing to do. We are gonna do a bubbles dance. We'll see you in a few. We've had so much fun with you guys today. We're gonna close out with our dance. So since we're in water safety month, we are gonna talk about water safety in our dance, okay? So we're gonna put on our lifeguard eyes and our bodies are gonna be like this. We're very attentive. Okay, so I'll walk you through the first time and then we'll dance the second time to music, okay? So hands on our hips. We're gonna scan the pool. And then scan the pool the other way. Oh, I see someone who needs help. Let's throw, don't go. Throw out our tube, pull them in. We made the save, they're okay. All right, good job guys. Let's try it together, okay? We'll do it to some music. Ready, go. Hands on our hips. All right, good job guys. We had a lot of fun today. We'll see you next time. High five for another fantastic swim lesson. 
Like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you'll get updated when new videos come out. Also, feel free to share this with a friend. We like to call them swim buddies to help us reach even more people around the world with our water safety tips and swim skills. Remember to practice these skills as much as you can so that when it's time to get back into the goldfish pool, you'll be ready to show off those swim skills for bubbles. We can't wait to see you.